Brigham Larson and Brigham Larson pianos at the Petrov Piano Factory outside of Prague. And, uh, and what this machine does here, and I'll, I'll show you the machine in a second that uh, does the next step, they've got lots of applications in the piano for, for wood that, uh, that on the one hand it needs to be precise, but it's not visible, nor is it used for tone production. And what this machine does is it uses uh, pieces of, of scrap like this that, that were rejected for the soundboard. This is very good wood. When I say scrap, the implication is that it's problematic in some way, but this is great wood, but it's not of the 3% that's used for the soundboard. And so what they do with it, this machine sends it through and makes these cuts, these zigzag cuts, and then pushes them together. I can't push them together anywhere nearly as, uh, as far as they end up being, and glues them. And let me show you how they how they uh, end up over there. So a number of different applications. This one is is the uh, inner rim. All of these were were uh, glued together in this manner. Then this this piece here is sent through this machine. I don't know if you can see it. Put the put the camera down so you can see the blades inside there. It cuts cuts them all into uh, thin sheets that are then bendable. And these are glued together to get that get that curved. Uh, characteristic piano shape. They're, when they're since they're bendable, they, they're glued and then uh, and then they end up when, the, when it dries, it ends up in that that characteristic piano shape. Rip. We'll show you that a little bit later.